What's up guys, Shine Barucha here and today I'm going to teach you how to assemble this CDR Samsung and uh, what's the motivation behind this? I'm thinking to make a Mark II of it. This is a, a CNC plotter. This is, our, this is one of my first projects. I made it entirely using CD-ROM parts and uh, as you know this little baby has a lot of parts which you can scavenge off it it's like these DC brushless motors is a higher RPM motor than your CD-ROM revolves around this and if you can make a driver circuit of it you can use it for quadcopters yeah a good project quadcopter yeah you can make some quadcopters out of this then this is this main driver board these are the control boards used to drive your CD-ROM and you can scavenge some SMD parts from it and these have some good SMD parts so you can use that then this is this the DC motor this is easily hackable only two joints you have to desolder and then the, these are the limit switches you can use it for a 3d printer also for the end stocks so this is a good good find and this is this is the potentiometer and uh, the, this potentiometer has variable stops so you can like adjust it for like limit and ranges so that's that's good you don't find this normally this is the audio jack you can scavenge it the main frame over which the stepper motor and your brushless motor is mounted that's good the mounting plate these are good plates steel plates you don't find this easily in the market so you can use it for your projects to mount your projects on it and then there's this plastic body so this is very important if you're making some projects having linear motion because this has a rack and pinion in it so you can just use its own DC motor which I have shown you to run your project so it's it's a very good thing so uh, let's get started so first of all we'll flip our CDR upside down we'll unscrew this four screws over here let's do it one two and the last one after unscrewing these four screws you can take this plate out easily and this plate will come out now we have to take out this CD what we can say this CD plate let's see uh, so to take this out you have to put a needle in this hole over here this hole was uh, mainly intended to be used in a case of power outages so now when you press this needle firmly inside the hole we will notice that uh, this thing over here the main frame will come out a little bit that means that now it's free so you can just stick your screwdriver inside this thing and you can take this out once this is out you have to take this thing out main so to take this out it's easy just you have to put your screwdriver at these two notches which are given at this side will come out after this you'll just take this whole contraption up and you'll remove its top plate after removing its top plate We'll flip the CD room upside down and we'll take out its screw over here. Which is holding its main as stepper motor and its brushless motor. So after doing this, we'll flip flip this back up 
and now we will take out this its main uh, processor card so to take this out we will see there are two black hinges over here you have to just press hinges in its opposite direction so this card will pop out easily then we have to take out these ribbons two ribbons over here so it's not that difficult we have to just drag it out so you just one drag it out second one from its connector and the third one over here like this it's done now we will get this this will be free the frame so we'll just now it's it's just stuck on this main plastic body by these rubber stoppers so we'll just pull it out as we we'll pull it out these rubber stoppers will be stuck over here and we have the separate frame over here that's, that's good for us now we'll extract these this DC motor part so to do this just put a small screwdriver and remove these two screws holding the DC motor after we have, we have done this we'll just uh, take out this uh, DC motor by pulling out these hinges and this will come off so this, this is our plastic part fully empty and separate for use now we will separate this brushless motor to do this we will take our Phillips screwdriver and we will take out these three screws sorry one two three we will take out this ribbon off this stepper motor ribbon which is connected to this plate in which the brushless motor is fitted after doing this it should come out easily like this the brushless motor has come out and you can take out this ribbon and here we have the stepper motor in the main contraction and this is our laser diode so if we want we can separate this also the laser diode contraption but uh, the thing is you cannot extract the laser diode as it is there will be some breakages so if you want to use the laser diode I prefer you use it wholly like this and not try to remove it from the frame because at some point they have stuck it with the epoxy over here so you can't you can't take this out but you can take out this whole contraption bus by just removing this screw over here if you remove the screw over here you can just then you can just take out the spring and this rod you can just pop it out like this this rod will pop out and we have separated this so there you go we have all these parts separated thanks for watching guys i hope you do it too do comment thank you